30 days ago, I started three brand new YouTube short channels to see if I can get any views while only using AI. During this challenge, I had three main questions. First of all, what is the best niche to create shorts in? Second, how hard is it to make videos with AI? And lastly, is posting shorts dumb luck or do you actually need some skill for this? So after doing some research in my previous video, I decided to go with these three niches basketball, gaming, and celebrities. On the first day of this challenge, I did a ton of research. I basically looked up any video that I could find that I would say would make a funny clip. Then what I did is I took that clip and I put it into Opslip and I prompted it to find the best moments. And this saved me so much time because I didn't have to watch any of these videos. I just prompted it to find the most viral moments and it automatically gives me the clips, which I can then edit in Opslip and then post on my YouTube channel. Now here's the short example of what I made. For example, here I say, find me the viral moments of this interview. And then I choose this clip right there. I edit in a voiceover, which you can do in Hope's clip. And then you get something like this. This is what Millie Bobby Brown did, did for her 20th birthday. For my 20th birthday, I was like, so yes, it does everything from adding in the voiceover to adding in captions to finding the best moment. Now I use this method to make all of my shorts in all of these channels. So I gathered all the videos and I started to post them. And then every time something happened, I record an update for you guys. And unfortunately, I didn't record much in the first two weeks simply because I was busy. But now I got this update for you. So basically what I've been doing over the past yeah, so I just noticed I'm wearing the same sweater. This is a complete coincidence. And in before I get any comments about this, just take a look at my hair, take a look at the setup. It's completely different. Now let's continue with the video. Like a few weeks, let's say like two weeks. I've been putting all types of video in Ops Clip into Clip Anything and basically trying to find the best, like, or most fun clips in there. So here I've asked it to find the viral moments and I've gone through it and I've downloaded all of them and then I've basically edited them and I've uploaded it on YouTube. And this is what we have so far. So on the first channel, this is the Epic Streamer Moment channel. I noticed that a lot of the case of videos were doing pretty well. So first of all, we have our first video. That one just died off pretty quickly. <laughs> then we have this one. This one got 16k and it sporadically is still getting views. If we take a look at like the swipe rate, so we get a 71% view rate, which is okay, but it's not enough to go viral. Then I've been noticing the same type of thing going on later into the video. So occasionally we have videos that don't do well. Then we have one that's doing like around, let's say 10k or maybe one that's doing like 14K. The comments, by the way, are pretty good on this also. So this one still getting some views right here. But yeah, this one got 15K. And if we take a look at the swipe rate, we got 75% that viewed it. So yeah, that's what we have been getting so far. So basically we haven't hit past the 20K mark on this channel. We have done around 107K in views. And we've done around 93 in subscribers, which is all right, given the fact that I've literally started my first video right here. And then I started being consistent for about 14 days right now. So in 14 days, I got 100k views on the first channel. Then on the second channel, I don't have that much good news. Basically, this channel, it just isn't working. I've been doing something wrong. I'm thinking it has to do with the content type. Because no matter how much I edit it, I occasionally still get videos that get this notification of the shorts policy. So it has been getting some kind of claim by the NBA and I can't do much about it because I don't own the rights to this. So I would suggest if you're trying this out, don't do it with the NBA. I've looked up some Reddit forums and I saw people doing the same thing but they were using a surf video. So basically there is like a surf league and that isn't really that copyright strict, but the NBA really is. And that went really, really good. So 
If you want to do this with sports, choose sports that aren't that big, but at the same time you want to have big sports because otherwise, how are you gonna get the attention? So I think like serving is kind of like a big sport. Also, everyone still wants to watch serving, so that might be a good alternative to this one. But basically what we're gonna try here is we're gonna try something different. So instead of doing all of these basketball highlights, I'm gonna try this. So I've scheduled this out. And this is literally a clip of Kobe. Kobe versus Jordan. Who is the real goat? Do you remember what you told me one day in the forum? So this is basically like an interview. I'm going to try something like this. This is a bit different. And I think this might, might work. Because I'm not getting any restrictions so far. And yeah, honestly, it must be doing better than those 500 views. Like if we take a look at the analytics, 5k views. So that's... That's pretty bad. That's really, really bad. We just got like one subscriber on that. Now, lastly, we have the channel Laughing Legends. And this one quite surprised me. I thought this one would be doing worse than it is. So, so far, we got 110k views, which is really good considering the fact that I'm only doing this for like 14 days. So I definitely think if you just continue this or if you just either increase the upload rate, you could get even more. But yeah, let me just show you how it has done. So if we go to shorts, we can see that we've been getting consistently views on this channel. So each short right here, apart from like these ones, have been doing like 10k, 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 10k. And I don't know why, but I just can't seem to break that barrier. That's the only issue I have with this channel. So if we take a look at this one, it's doing all right. Swipe rate of 79% that has viewed it which is way better than the last channel. And yeah, it's it's doing really good, but I just can't get past that 10K. So I'm gonna keep consistent at this and I'm gonna update you guys if I have some better results with this or if I'm gonna change it up slightly. Okay, so it's day 16 and it's time for another update. So it's about 8.30 PM right now. I'm still in the office and I just wanted to update you guys because right now we got our best video or second best video on this channel so we got a 2 out of 10 and it's right below this video of jenna ortega and we got 12k views which is pretty good now if you take a look at our analytics then we can see that this was our best day so far and i know it's not viral it's not any like really big numbers but if you take a look at our last few days i appreciate these amount of views now also, I want to address the elephant in the room here because our channel Hoop Loop has not been doing great. So far, we managed to get seven subscribers and our best video is this one of Kobe versus Jordan, which has 477 views. And if we take a look at our analytics, then you can see it's not great either. So here's what I'm thinking. Let's pull the plug out of this channel and focus all our attention on our main channel, Laughing Legends and our other channel, epic streamer moments because the basketball channel just isn't working for me i just can't fix it if we take a look at the shorts policy i'm getting issues with that as well and i don't have that with this type of content so what i'm thinking on these two channels i'm posting twice a day instead of once and let's see what we can get let's see if we can get that viral what i'm looking for so let's stay tuned for the next update today is day 26 and oh boy, we had a rough couple of days. Honestly, I thought of quitting and I didn't do that before because we were doing okay, I guess. But literally what happened over these last few days was awful. So here's what happened. On our channel Epic Streamer Moment, the one that I had the most faith in, we pretty much didn't get any views. Like take a look at this graph. On this day, we got 500 views, which is a bad short. Then we got 17 views. We got 23 views, we got 15 views, and this just continued over and over again, day in, day out. Now our other channel, which was doing great, we got like 17k views over here. Also, all of a sudden, at the exact same date, didn't get any views anymore. So we had like 17 views, 21 views, 23 views. Honestly, this continued and continued. And at that point, I thought I could do one of two things. First, I could quit and just call it the day, call it the fail, or I can go all in and I try my best to make the most out of this challenge. 
So that's exactly what we did. So first of all, I changed it to uploading twice a day. Instead of doing one, let's double the effort. Let's put everything we got into these last couple of days and try to see if we can get a viral banger. Now, what I did also is I looked closely what the competitors were doing. And then one day I was scrolling through YouTube Shorts and I came across this video right here. Let me just show you a small part of it. Keanu Reeves broke the interviewer with his poem. I love this poem. Do you mind if I read it? It's called an Ode to Happiness. So yeah, that video heavily edited, done great. It got 214k likes. I'm not sure how many views it got, but probably a lot. I was like, if he can do that, then what prevents me from doing the same? So let's steal like an artist. And what I did is I found the interview that he was using. This is an interview that's four years old. So what I did is I took that video, I put it into Opus Clip. I asked it to find that quote where they were talking about the ode to happiness. And on video number two, we got that exact same video. Now, I want to go all in for this challenge. So instead of me editing it myself, I asked one of my editors to put in everything they got into these type of videos. So now on this channel, we finally are getting some views again. Like it seems like maybe or shadow ban. I don't know what to call it, but it seems like we're doing better with this. Now we got 15K views just today. And as you can see in the last 48 hours, we have 27K views. And right now, as we're talking about this, we're still getting a lot of views. Now, what happened is these three videos got views. This one is doing pretty good. We can see we got a huge boost right here. And then right now it's pretty much dying. Then this other video about Keanu Reeves, this one is steadily growing. It's doing very, very well. If we take a look at the swipe rate, we can see it's about 80%. Preferably, I would like this to be closer to a 100% because that's the only way you get a viral. Now our other video is still getting views. So this one, we just uploaded this one and this one is doing really good at the moment. You see 60 minutes ago and it's getting 1800 views. It's being pushed after like five hours. So that's the strange thing with shorts. If you quit once you're getting zero views, then yeah, you will continue to get zero views. There's no point in trying if you quit early. Now, if you stay consistent with this, I'm certain your channel will succeed. So that's what I'm gonna do for the next few days. I'm gonna stay consistent by posting twice a day and I will go all in on the editing because I believe if I download this video from like Opus Clip, I export it as an XML, I can make the best video possible instead of just using Opus Clip's editor. Now let's see where this brings us and I will check in back again with you in a couple of days. We're officially done with this challenge. It's a little bit over 30 days. I let the last few shorts marinate for a little bit before I give you the results. But now let me dive into the results of each channel to see if we've successfully made it or if we failed. Now, starting off with Hooploop, unfortunately, this channel just didn't work. As you can see, we didn't get any subscribers. We got barely any views. And I also stopped uploading on this channel because I didn't see any potential in it. If we take a look at the content, then we can see we ran into some issues with the shorts policy. It says the channel is not affected and the visibility is also not affected. But yeah, this channel, the most views it got per video is like 500. So basketball niche isn't worth it to me unless you heavily edit your videos. Next up, we have Epic Streamer Moment. And this one looked so promising to me. I actually placed a bet on this that this will be our best performing channel. Unfortunately, it didn't quite do it. So with this channel, we have 150k views. We have 126 subscribers in 30 days. And honestly, I think this one still has potential if you continue to post, if you stay consistent, and maybe if you apply some more editing on your video. If we take a look at the analytics, then we can see that we started off pretty strong. Here, I got like high hopes that I thought it was doing well. But unfortunately, after like September 23rd, then it just died. I continued to post like even twice a day, but it never recovered from that. I'm not sure what was happening during that time because I got a ton of notifications underneath my video that more people were getting no views at all while they were trying the same thing. The same thing happened on my other channel, Laughing Legends, at the exact same time. So here on September 23rd, 
we didn't get any views for quite some time. After that, this channel recovered quite good. We got 41k, but unfortunately, we didn't have any like massive viral video. In conclusion, this is what I've learned from this challenge. First of all, I need you to stay consistent if you're trying shorts. It can happen that you don't get any shorts for a long period of time during your posting, but if you stay consistent, you eventually will get more shorts. Second, I would use shorts to grow your channel. For example, 200 subscribers, it might not seem like a lot, but if you continue this for a few months, you will have 1000 subscribers. And then if you focus on long form, you can monetize your channel. AI tools like Opus Clip will make your life a lot easier, especially if you use it for original content, like your own content, then you can easily monetize it. So I would suggest you to try out Opus Clip if you want to use AI for your videos. And lastly, I don't think posting shorts is dumb luck. I think you actually need to have good videos that will perform because your swipe rate and as well as your engagement is very important on shorts. Now, the better your video is, the more chances your video will go viral. However, I think if you post more, your chances of going viral are bigger because if you only post like once a week, you only have like one video that can go viral. Let's say you post four times a day. That means you have 28 chances of going viral in that week. But all in all, make sure you post some good content. Now, I'm curious to know if you want me to try more challenges with YouTube Shorts in the future. If so, let me know what you want me to do in the comments down below and I will do it. Thanks so much for watching this. I had a ton of fun creating this and I will see you in the next one.